deal with this disco light effect that these LED lights seem to have where you can see the individual spectrums from the individual LEDs. I don't know if you could really see it, but I actually put a stick-on uh, diffuser onto these LEDs and it made a difference. I mean, it was much, much, much worse before. But, um, you know, it's still bugging me. And I like the diffused look of T5 lights. At the same time, I do like the shimmer. But not to this effect. You know, I want, I want the, uh, I want everything to be mixed well. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up this pebbled diffuser that they make for the, uh, the fluorescent lights. And I picked this one up, which is like a pearled and frosted diffuser. And my wife and I held them up side by side. And frankly, uh, I think this one is better. I might have to up the intensity a little more in the lights, but I think I'm going to be okay with that because the light diffusing is much, much better. So here's a before, and we'll get a before and an after to get a good look at how everything looks. The original uh, diffuser I'd put on, onto the uh, glass, although now I'm kind of thinking it also serves to use as a reflector because there it is right there without it. Uh, but anyway, you can still see to a much greater extent here. In fact, uh, really messes up videos when you do it because that's this is the right side without the diffuser. And then uh, this is the left side with that stick on one that I put on. Yeah, forgive the algae for taking care of that. But the sand is where it really sticks out. So this is the left side. There, that's right in the middle. You can absolutely see a difference. And that's with that stick on diffuser. So let's put on the uh, pearled one and see what it turns out like. So this is after. Uh, I gotta say, this stuff is not easy to work with. So it's incredibly brittle. I got a new blade, which helped a lot. And I cut in uh, as flat as I could. And I scored along the straight edge. I scored. As, as much as I could until I started hearing like little cracking noises, just a little bit, and then I would snap it like if you were to do drywall or I don't know if you're familiar with that analogy. Um, and how I ended up doing it, because it wouldn't fit the original way, I mean I guess you could tape it on, but I ended up, so my my black boxes have this, this uh, acrylic sheet on top and that's where I had stuck on if you look here. Um, you could see where I stuck on that uh, DC fix my diffuser and I removed that acrylic sheet and I put it underneath in the space you can see it there I put it in the space in between and it is significantly better so let's see if I can get a good image of this the camera doesn't really do it justice but if I look down at the sand right in the middle let me back out. Come on, focus. So the left side is still slightly more disco ball y. Here's the left side here. Come on, focus, camera. That's the left side versus the right side here, where you can see it's almost one solid color. And this is it from back here. This probably does a little more justice to it because you can see there's still shimmer on the right side, but the left side is going crazy with shimmer while the right side is a lot more muted. I also want to show you this. You could do this or a version thereof if you had the room with a canopy, but this looks just like my T5s used to look. Zero shimmer completely blended colors, absolutely no uh, spectral um, differences in the sand or the rock. It looks like one solid color, right around 18, maybe 20K here, like my old halide, that color, but or aqua blues and the T5s I used to have. And I actually really like this. I just don't really like this or it on top because even if I were to cut it to trim and sit on top, I'm just gonna see the reflection of, of the lights, but 
bear in mind, this is only a 11 inch deep tank as far as the water level. It's super shallow. So I have these guys running on like 40, 38% for the blues and 15% for the whites. I'll raise it now a little bit, probably about 5% per, um, because it is a very, very shallow tank, and people with 24-inch deep tanks run these lights at 60%. So, you know, anyway, that's that. I hope you guys uh, have time to go check it out, do it yourself. Honestly, I, I don't, I love it. Yeah, I love it. I recommend it. Let's see how things work out. All right, guys, Next. till next time.